Honourable Senators, I rise today on Refugee Rights Day to thank Canadians for welcoming Ugandan refugees into Canada 45 years ago. My father, Shirley Bandali Jaffer, a member of Parliament who had fought for Uganda's independence, and my family went overnight from being Ugandans to being stateless. My father fled Uganda as a person targeted to be killed. He barely managed to escape, leaving just as the Ugandan army had arrived at our home to take him. My husband was also detained. Honorable Senators, we lost everything. We lost our belongings, we lost our homes, and most of all, we lost our country, Uganda. There were global efforts to give us asylum under the leadership of the United Nations High Commissioner. I would like to thank Prince Sadruddin Aga Khan and His, His Highness the Aga Khan for their hard work to get us asylum outside of Uganda. Honorable Senators, every hour we hear of refugees fleeing their homes by foot, boat, and plane. Honorable Senators, I ask you not to turn a deaf ear to their pleas. These people flee because their families will be maimed, raped, or killed if they stay in their homeland. In Turkey, I met a Syrian father whose, whose story emphasizes this, and he said, and I quote, I stayed in Syria as long as I could. I thought things would improve, but when the bombs kept raining down near my home, I knew I had to flee. The day we fled, my eldest boys were captured. I never saw them again. Two days into our journey, we were struck by bombs. I lost my youngest child, and my eldest daughter lost her, all her limbs from barrel bombs. I was a father to six children, but now half my family is gone, and my daughter is in pain every day. I did not want to flee my home, but I fled to save my family." End of quotation. Honorable Senators, there are thousands of people making this decision to leave their homes to save the lives of their families. On this Refugee Day, I would like to ask Canadians to continue to be compassionate as they were 45 years ago when they opened their doors to my own family. Thank you.